Hello guys, hope you all are doing good. And today we are going to do programming in Tinkercad. We have already gone through history of programming and basics of embedded system in last classes, and our project is LED on using Arduino today. LED on using Arduino is somewhat similar to the project you have done before that is LED on using battery. Let's start the project. For this project we need the first component Arduino. Choose Arduino from the component list. You can see Arduino Uno R3 here. Click on that and drag and drop it in the workspace and Name it as Arduino Uno. So type Arduino Uno here. We can just recollect the things studied in last class. You already know about the parts and pins of Arduino. So let's recollect that. This is the microcontroller, which is known as the brain of Arduino. Are the digital pins and we have 14 digital pins from 0, 1, 2, 3 to 30. You can see that we have 14 pins 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up to 13. So digital pins have two states 0 and 1. 0 means low or negative and 1 means high or positive. Now these are analog pins. We have six analog pins A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. So these analog pins are input pins and digital pins are input output pins. For uploading the program to Arduino, we need to connect it to the computer. So we use this part to connect Arduino to computer and this part is called a USB A to B port. So we connect Arduino to computer using a cable called a printer cable or USB A to B cable. When we connect Arduino to computer through a USB A to B port, Arduino will get charged. Now, if we need to connect external battery to Arduino, we will use this port which is called as power jack or barrel jack. Or can use some pins. Can you see some pins here? V in and ground pins. We have three ground pins. V in is positive and ground is negative. So in these three ways we can give power to Arduino that is through USB A to B port, power jack and through these pins, V in and ground pins. Now can you see 5 volt and 3.3 volt pin here? These pins are called power pins. If we need to power another components like sensors, motors, etc. via Arduino, we will use power pins. We can connect the positive terminal of components in either 5V or 3.3V and negative terminal in ground. Sometimes we may need to refresh Arduino so we use this reset button. When we press on the reset button, Arduino will start executing the program from the beginning but will not erase the program. So now we are familiarized with the Arduino board. Now let us begin our project. For this project, oh, we need an LED. So select LED from component list and let's name it as LED1. You already know about LED, so can connect it directly to Arduino. We need to turn on and off this LED. 
so we will connect it to the digital pins of Arduino. You can connect the two terminals of LED to any two digital pins of Arduino. I'm connecting the anode of LED to digital pin 2 of Arduino. So drag a wire from the anode and connect it to digital pin 2 of Arduino. And a cathode to digital pin 3 of Arduino. Now let us make the positive connection wire red and negative connection black color. Now we need to do the programming to instruct Arduino about the pins where terminals of LED is connected and also to turn on and off LED. So click here on code. New window will open on the side. You can see some blocks here. Just drag it to the left side to remove it from this workspace. Now start coding. You can see three options here. Blocks, blocks plus text and text we need block so click on that now you can see so many options here we will learn all these things later now we need output option so click on that our first block is set pin we need to set the pins high or low where we connected the anode and cathode of LED so select the block set pin we need two blocks of that because we have two digital pins used so just drag one more first set the pin where anode is connected which is digital pin 2 so click here and select 2 now here set the pin where cathode is connected and it is 3 so select 3 here In order to make our LED on, we need to make the pin 2 high and because anode must be connected to positive and pin 3 is low, cathode must be connected to negative. So make pin 2 high and the 3 low. Now click on start simulation. You can see our LED is on. Let's check what happens if we change the connection. We can interchange the connection. Let us connect anode to pin 3 and cathode to pin 2. So delete these wires. Now connecting anode to pin 3 and cathode to pin 2. So now our pin 3 must be high that is positive and pin 2 must be low that is negative. Click on code. Here we are not changing the set pin. We are not setting the pin. Here as second pin is high and third pin is low. Now click on start simulation. You can see our LED is off. To make the LED on, we need to set the pin in correct way. Set pin 2 to low and set pin 3 to high. Click on start simulation and you can see our LED is on now. Now change the pin of anode and cathode. We have connected cathode and fourth pin and anode in third pin. So click here and change. 2 to 3 and here 3 to 4. So we have given anode to the third pin so we need to make it high and the cathode to the fourth pin so we need to make it low. Now click on start simulation. You can see our LEDs on. Now let's change this. Let's make the third pin low where the anode is connected and click on start simulation. You can see the LED is off. Now try giving the fourth pin high. So we are making the fourth pin high and clicking on start simulation. Now also LED is off. 
next make the two pins high still our led is off so to make this led on we need to make the third pin where anode is connected high and the fourth pin where cathode is connected low so we made the led on and likewise i just add one more led so name it as led 2 Change the color to green. I'm connecting the anode to digital pin six, that is D six, and a cathode to digital pin seven, that is D seven. Click on code. We need to code these two pins also. Now add two more blocks of set pin. You can select set pin block from here, and also you can duplicate these two pins simply. Now change the pin to six and seven. So six is the pin where anode is connected, and seven is the pin where cathode is connected. And we need to make the six pin high and seven pin low. Now click on start simulation. You can see our two LEDs are on now. Now add one more LED and name it as LED three. Change the color to blue, and you can connect it to any of the digital pins from zero to thirty. You can add more number of LEDs as per your wish. So as much as you add LEDs, you need to code for those pins. And guys, let's try doing this by adding more LEDs. And we will meet again in next session with no project in Tinkercad. Till then, bye.